You are especially welcome to this segment of the program. I am still the amiable Inuagata Nosahai. Now, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a business manager, one thing you need to do to, to continue to, you know, continue as a going concern, as a result of unending customers' patronage, is to just ensure that the hearts of your customer, you know, that they are endured towards you. Ensure that your customer, let me put it like it, they are in love with you. You know, they just want to always come to you because you do things that endear their hearts towards you. And that is why the subject of our conversation this morning is six ways to endear the hearts of your customers to you. Six ways to endear the hearts of your customers to you. And the first one is to show to them that you value their coming by acknowledging their presence. Value their coming by acknowledging their presence. Now, if as a customer, I walk into your business place and you know you do not acknowledge my presence, I may not want to come back to you. So as I walk in, I expect that even if you are busy with a customer I met there, if a customer was there proud to my coming, I expect that at least you should give me a body language to show that you acknowledge and value my coming. This is very, very important. And that you can just do with a simple smile as you see me walking through that front door. Yes, you are busy with the customer that came before, or you are busy with someone who may be a colleague, you are discussing something very serious, you are addressing an issue. And then I walk in, I expect that at least, even if you may not be able to attend to what I came for at that time, just give me a smile to I value my coming. Give me that head nodding, you know, just with a, a sign language indicates to me where I could sit down while you quickly wrap up with what you are doing. Now, when you do this, my heart will be endured to you. I will want to wait for you and then, I, you know, come, uh, I will want to wait for you so that I can, you know, do what I came for. What I came for may be to make a purchase or engage your service or probably make an inquiry. So ensure that you acknowledge or you value the coming of your customers, you know, to patronize you or to make an inquiry by just making sure that you always acknowledge their presence. Show to them that you value their coming by acknowledging their presence. Then the next you know, thing you need to do to endear the heart of your customers towards you is to respect their time. Now, this is where so many businesses are missing it. There is a lot of you know, gap here in this issue of valuing and respecting the customer's time. You need to do everything possible to step up your business processes, improve on your business processes so that you know you'll be able to reduce customers waiting time you know these days customers are seriously time starved you know there is serious demand on their time uh, you know as a result of their commitment to work you know their bosses are on their neck and you know they are even the, there's a demand on their time you know from their families and all that they have so many things they need to attend to with very limited time and when they come to engage your service or buy a product from you and they have to stay a very you know stay all day they waste a lot of time there that will not endear their hearts to you but if you want their heart to always be endeared to you to always come back and patronize you just give them that confidence that when they come their time will not be wasted so respect their time value their time we are looking at six ways to endear the heart of your customers towards you the first one i said show to them that you value their coming by acknowledging their presence and the second one respect their time value their time the third one let them know that you are always mindful of them let your customers know that you are always thinking about them you are mindful of them Especially, maybe someone has made a very huge purchase. Just imagine, you know, as a customer, after making a purchase or engaging the service of, uh, you know, a company or a service provider, and then after a week or two of making that purchase, they are calling you and your phone beeps, you know, you answer the call and you discover that it is that company, that business you make that purchase from. They are calling you to check on you, to ask you how you are doing, and then they are also asking, if the product you purchase is performing up to expectation, so that if, if, it's, if that is not happening, they can quickly fix whatever 
may be wrong. So when you do something like this, you'll be making you know, deposit in the emotional bank accounts of such customers, and then they, their hearts will always be endeared towards you. They will want to always do business with you, engage your, 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 you know, your service, purchase your product, and even become you know, a, a marketing agent for you that you don't pay salary, just you know, giving you referral benefits and you know, just helping you to you know, spread the good news of how good you are to people within his or her sphere of contact. Then the fourth one, don't undermine their dignity. This is so important. Now, if as a customer, you make me feel embarrassed as a result of some things I might not know about your company or your business. Any interface I'm having with you, I will want to cut that short because I wouldn't want to continue to patronize a business, you know, meet a service provider that makes me feel undignified and feel ashamed or feel embarrassed as a result of what I may not know about them, you know, at that moment. So it is very important you don't undermine their dignity. The fifth one, which is, is, is uh, you know, it, with dovetail and ripple out of this fourth one I just mentioned of you not undermining their dignity, is for you to always share tips to them. Share a tip. You know, as the owner of the business, as the manager or employee of the business, it is expected that you know more about your industry than I do. It is expected that you know more about your product and service than I do. And so when you give me information, when you share tips to me that will help me to better, you know, utilize that product I purchased from you to make the best out of that product and out of that service, you know, that I, you know, I engage with you, it, that will make me feel empowered, you know, to best use that product and that will actually endear my heart towards you or endear my heart to you. Then the sixth one, which is the concluding one, remember, the subject of the conversation is six ways to endear the heart of your customers to you. We have mentioned, show to them that you value their coming, acknowledging their presence, respect their time, let them know you are mindful of them, don't undermine their dignity, share a tip or share some tips to them. Then the last one, the sixth one, promptly respond to their complaints. Comp, you know, promptly respond to their complaint. This is where so many organizations, so many businesses are also creating gaps and lacunas. They are missing it there. When you delay responding to a customer's complaint, they may start considering your competitors. And the reason they are complaining in the first instance is for you to make sure that the issue is resolved. And I have what I call the HEAT strategy of resolving customer's complaint, H-E-A-T. I will just talk about the T, which is you taking action to make sure that the complaint is resolved. Because failure to resolve customer's complaint is you telling them to go and patronize your competitors. I believe lots of value have been added to you today. And just connect with me in my social media handles using my name, Inuarata Nusaka. Send your questions across and then I feed you back with answers and we are able to take this to the next level. I'll be seeing you next week Wednesday. And when I return, I'll remain the amiable Inuarata no, Sahai. Your day is so blessed. Thank you. All right.